Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, absolutely, uh, I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna review another shampoo after I reviewed Oribe and you like this video. If you didn't see it yet, I'll leave a link down below. Actually, Oribe is my favorite hair care brand. It's pretty pricey, but I love it so much. But I always kind of look in for something else. Maybe there is a good budget-friendly option. So a few months ago, when I was done with my Oribe, the bottles were empty, I decided to give it a try for Kerastas. I tried it before, but I didn't notice much of a you know stuff going on like it was just a regular shampoo i wasn't like really oh my god it's amazing but i stumbled on the line genesis it looks like this it's a pink bottle it's for prone to failing due to breakage from brushing for weakened hair and it was absolutely my case after i had my second baby i had this postpartum hair loss and me personally I'm not really a believer that something from the outside can help you with your hair loss. I think it's more of from the inside, your nutrients, your um, sleep, your vitamins and your hormones. But I decided to give it a try and see what's gonna happen because everyone was raving in the reviews and comments that it's just amazing, they don't know how, but this has really helped and changed their life and they're never gonna go to any other shampoos again. So yeah, I decided to give it a try. I have some thoughts, so if you're interested, let's get started. So first we're gonna talk about shampoo. It's a pretty small bottle, just like Oribe has pretty small bottle. Yeah, it's not regular drugstore big shampoo. I wish they would make it in a bigger size, but for the smaller price. But I guess, no, it's for dry, weakened hair, prone to falling due to wreckage from brushing i like this shampoo because it's really creamy it's really foamy but it's not to the point then your scalp is like making squeaky noises and like your hair is like absolutely dry after that shampoo i really like that sometimes i would skip conditioner and i would still would be able to brush my hair i like the scent it was very very nice my hair is pretty thick and i needed about two tablespoons of this shampoo and it took me probably two months and the bottle was done not even two months probably a month and three weeks something like that so next we go to conditioner conditioner surprisingly i finished first it was my first time i finished conditioner first thing before shampoo and you look at it as a positive thing like oh i was liking it so much and i was reaching to it so much but for me, it was pretty runny, so I needed a lot more of this conditioner. Oh, I probably would use like four tablespoons, like a big load of the conditioner on my whole palm to actually apply it just from the mid of my hair to the ends. And I liked the results, it was very nice, but I didn't notice the huge difference when I used just shampoo and then conditioner. But when I used hair mask, I liked it a lot. I used it just as a conditioner for five minutes, 15 minutes before hair wash, one hour straight before hair wash, and it was very, very, very good. If I would know that, I would probably just order shampoo and conditioner because I think, oh, sorry, shampoo and mask. Yes, that's what I meant. Because I think like mask is richer, it's very thick, and creamy texture and I love it a lot when conditioner is really runny and you need to really squeeze your hair so so much because it's gonna dilute with water and it's gonna be even more runny so yeah I really like mask I didn't finish it yet because surprisingly you didn't need a lot that's a surprise for me because conditioner it just like you need lots of it oh my god but mask you just need a one tablespoon. I'm sorry that I'm talking in spoons here, but that's my first uh, thing how to describe it. I like the scent because again, it's very masculine. It's unisex. I don't like when my hair smell like flowers or like candies. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't know. And when it mixed with my perfume, everything is perfect. It smells nice. Clean my hair, amazing. Didn't get oily next day, perfect. But let's get to the topic about hair loss and hair breakage did it really help me 
I think it didn't at all. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I don't know what's the science behind here, but I didn't really think anything going on. Like, you know, sometimes there is some shampoo, then you apply and they kind of make this tickling feeling in your skull, like making your blood going round on your skull. But here's nothing. It's just like gentle, it's very creamy, it's very nourishing from the outside. But I don't think it really kind of help you with your hair loss. I just stopped losing my hair and I, it stopped falling out. But is it because of a shampoo or over $50? Or just because it stopped? Uh, because the cycle stopped of my postpartum hair loss, because I took supplements, because I stopped waking up in the middle of the night to my baby and started actually having a decent sleep for a while now i again don't have enough sleep yeah I, I i like it it's very nice if you want to give it a try if you have some you know money laying around and you don't know where to spend it and you want to give it a try because for some people it worked magically but for me it was just a regular nicely scented shampoo luxurious feeling nice hair mask nothing else unfortunately i wish it could help me but i guess my hair loss just break it on cycle on its own so yeah let me know in the comments what do you think about this shampoo did you try this line what do you think what are your thoughts i really do hope that you like this video and if you did if it was helpful for you give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below i really really like to be connected with you and yes don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys